Hey everyone, Steph here from Old Guy Melts Plastic. Um, so I've received the umbilical wire that I was looking for, the CAN plus USB umbilical wire um, from Fabrico, uh, originally designed by 3DO.eu, but I ordered it, ordered it from Fabrico because they're in the US and I'm in Canada. Um, and so the wire came in and it is pretty substantially uh, shielded. So we've got some silicone, it says silicone FEP, so FEP on the inside for the individual wires, but the entire cable trunk is surrounded in pretty a he pretty hefty layer of silicone. Um, so I did have some trouble actually routing it through the um, spring PG7 glands that I have, because it turns out that this uh, diameter is about 7.9 millimeters um, and that was larger than a PG7 gland is intended to take so I had to uh, be a little forceful in routing the uh, cable through those glands uh, but now I have a solid unbroken line for the uh, CAN bus wiring and the USB wiring to the tool head so I've got my CAN uh, bus wires running to an EBB36 on the back of the tool head and my um, USB wiring running to a beacon probe on the bottom of the tool head. Uh, and everything's working, so pretty happy about that. I'm currently printing some Annex panel clips. Uh, thank you to Anlin from the Annex Engineering uh, Voron, or Discord server rather, um, for their design of these panel clips. Uh, I used them already on my V2 and um, I'm printing some more because I just received as well uh, some new polycarbonate panels to replace the acry acrylic panels that I have currently in the V2. Um, so those will be installed uh, shortly. Uh, my plan is to mount them with some uh, annex uh, hinges. I basically stole the hinge uh, parts from the annex engineering K2 Chogori uh, build. Uh, and they're very hefty. They're 270 degree hinge, hinges, um, and they're they're quite solidly built. Uh, but it will mean that I'll have to uh, cut out parts of the polycarbonate panels that I just received. So I'll be working on that in the next few days, and I'll post an update once those panels are in. Um, for now, uh, after getting the um, umbilical wiring um, a little more solid than it was before, I'm quite happy with the results. Um, I'm you know, just printing a few more parts before uh, doing another mod. Uh, the next thing that I'm planning on modifying on this printer, uh, I have received um, from 3D Lab Tech the uh, kinematic bed mounts for the uh, 2.4, um, and so I will be um, adding that to the build here um, in the next week or so, and I'll post a video update once that's done and let you know if that made any difference to the overall um, bed, um, bed configuration. All right, uh, that's enough for this video. Uh, again, do uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions or concerns. Uh, and thank you to everyone for watching. Uh, I really enjoy interacting with you guys on YouTube. This has been a fantastic journey so far. Um, and uh, I look forward to posting more content. I've been asked to post more content for my V0 build. It's now a box zero. Um, it's been modded a little bit. Um, so look for more V0 um, videos in the coming weeks. Thanks again.